In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can do an operation that has both fractions and decimals in it. How we will do that is we're... there are several ways we can approach it. One is we can change all the fractions to decimals. Another way is we can change all the decimals to fractions. But both of those might create more work than we actually have to do and could possibly create a round-off error we want to avoid. So a third option that's better is to kind of cheat and make a fraction a decimal. Or maybe a better way to say that would be is if we have both fractions and decimals. What we will do is we will put the decimal over 1 and simplify. And that'll give us a fraction with a decimal inside it. So for example, if we were multiplying 5 fourths times 1.5, we're going to change that decimal into a fraction by putting it over 1. We now would have 5 fourths times 1.5 over 1. Well, we know how to multiply fractions straight across. So let's do that. In the numerator, we have 5 times 1.5. Maybe you need to show that work. It's kind of tricky to do that in your head. 5 times 5 is 25. 5 and 2 more is 7 one decimal digit, so we have one decimal digit in our answer. The numerator is 7.5. In the denominator, 4 times 1 is 4. Finally, to finish simplifying, we'll remember that the fraction bar actually implies an operation, division. So let's set up our division. The bottom number always goes first, 4 into the 7.5. 4 goes into 7 once because 1 times 4 is 4. Subtracting, we have 3. Bring the 5 down. 4 goes into 35. 8 times. 4 times 8 is 32. Subtracting, we get 3. Add a 0. Bring it down. 4 goes into 30. 7 times. 4 times 7 is 28. Subtracting, we get 2. Add another 0. Bring it down. None of this is really difficult, just might take a little time working through the operations here. 4 goes into 25 times, because 4 times 5 is 20, and we finally subtract it to 0. Bring the decimal straight up into our answer, and we have our final answer, 1.875, or 1 and 875 thousandths. Let's try another example where we put the decimal over 1, which gives us the ability to simplify. Here, we'll put the 9.21 over 1. So we have 5 sixths times 9.21 over 1. And again, because they're fractions, we can multiply them straight across. So in the numerator, 5 times 9.21, 5 times 1 is 5, 5 times 2 is 10, 5 times 9 is 45, and 1 more is 46. Two decimal digits in our answer, so we have 46.05 over 6 times 1, which is 6. To finish simplifying, the fraction bar represents division. The denominator is the divisor out front, 6 into 46.05. Well, 6 goes into 46, 7 times, 7 times 6 is 42, that gives us a 4. Bring down a 0, 6 goes into 46 times, because 6 times 6 is 36. Subtracting gives us a 4. Bring down the 5, 6 goes into 5, 7 times, because 6 times 7 is 42. Again, this operation just takes time going through the motions. Long division should be very comfortable to us. Decimals always have extra zeros. Bring it down. 6 goes into 35 times. 6 times 5 is 30. Subtract, and we finally get 0. Place the decimal by moving it straight up into our answer, and we have our final answer, 7 and, or 7.675, 675 thousandths. We can quickly change these decimals into fractions by putting them over 1, and then using our fraction operations, we can simplify the expression.